Today, overregulation is a burden on the American farmer and rancher. It's just, it stifles, it stifles small business growth. You can't, you can't grow if you're constantly under the thumb of somebody telling you what to do. You know, if we get too many regulations and it costs too much money, you know, it could potentially close the doors for business, anyone's business. And not only does it affect us as individuals, it affects you as a public. Typically, small farms provide natural, grass-fed, and organic beef. Large feedlots also offer us a huge variety of choices which allow us to keep food prices low. Um, lean beef can easily fit into a low-fat, heart-healthy, nutritious diet. Calorie for calorie, beef is one of the most nutrient-rich foods to fuel an active, healthy lifestyle. Farmers and ranchers take good care of their livestock for conscience and profitability's sake. Reducing the stress on the calves is going to mean more gain to me. Clean water is necessary for healthy livestock. Dirty water will compromise livestock performance. Animal agriculture is allegedly a primary water polluter, but DNA studies prove otherwise. I sometimes worry about my children not having clean water to drink. I'm not a farmer and I thought that livestock polluted the water. I don't think so anymore. Bill works hard to keep his cows from polluting our neighborhood streams and to prevent erosion. We've fenced off some, some streams, um, put in crossings to allow them to go, go across without uh, contaminating the water. Um, we've also put off-site uh, water facilities for the cattle. Sometimes fencing may be used, but as the Department of Ecology has pointed out, at times it may be impractical and too costly. $6,000 for a thousand feet, and that's uh, a little steep. Fencing some stream banks may be impractical due to yearly floods each spring, Steep banks, fencing the entire riparian area may prevent access to other management units and ranchers need to provide water access for their livestock. We have to drink clean water and breathe fresh air just like everyone else. Over the years, we have become significantly more efficient Dr. Judith Kapper explains in her research that for every pound of beef produced in 2007, it took 30% fewer animals, 19% less feed, 14% less water, 33% less land, and 9% fewer fossil fuels. This is compared to 1977. I'm curious. As a fourth generation farmer, I wonder who's going to farm if I don't do it. If regulations make it more difficult, then we lose more farmers. The price of food eventually goes up, and not only does it affect us as individuals, it affects you as a public.